Multi-award winning rapper Stormzy's new single Rainfall has a video with a bit of a difference. It features the Croydon born musician as a video games character performing inside an actual game, the soon to be released Watch Dogs Legion. I'm about to meet Stormzy in the flesh. The game that he's appearing in is set in a near future London and has themes of protest and resistance. I'm keen to find out if he thinks that this video game has any parallels with things that are going on in 2020. One of the game's main themes is about ordinary people banding together mm -hmm. to resist and to fight back against a, an oppressive regime. Mm. Do you think that that's saying anything about the world that we live in right now? It's very reflective in the times and in, in the sense of, yeah, we, we, we as people need to be coming together. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, and I think they capture that perfectly in the sense of like your everyday person being more important than they probably realise, you know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely. A third-person action title, Watch Dogs Legion is set in a dystopian vision of a near-future London, a surveillance state controlled by corrupt corporate interests. The player can recruit and control any of the thousands of characters they encounter on London streets, performing missions which will ultimately bring down the authoritarian regime. All right, everyone! Stormzy plays a version of himself, and in this fictional world, he's a rapper whose message of resistance is transmitted via pirate video signal. He spent three days being performance captured at the game's developers, Ubisoft's Toronto Studios. And then where am I playing? Now, so, follow the GPS, that should take you there. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Storms, what are you doing, lad? Riding recklessly. Absolutely recklessly, I mean. Is it that the back of, it's the back of horse guards, isn't it, down there? It's so London, it actually blows my mind. Is it special being in a game that's set in set in London? Oh, it's the most. But I'm like I'm like I feel like I am London. Like London is me. Like I've got so much. Like I'm a proper London boy. Like through through and through. Like and it's in my city and I love it dearly. And it's a big part of who I am as a man and as an artist and just my character. This is mad. Yeah. My bank's up there. Like literally, if I turn. <laughs> God, you know, For people that do... don't know London, that's Coots and Co. <laughs> <laughs> Coots and Co is just up here on <laughs> the same bank as Majesty <laughs> the Queen. Now let the rain fall on my enemies. Fall on my enemies. Bro, that is me. That's more me than a flipping picture. This is mental. Stormzy isn't the only musician to appear in a video game. He joins a long list of recording artists that includes the likes of 50 Cent. And who could forget David Bowie? You're not the first video game player to get your soul trapped. Some of these efforts could be put down to cashing in on a musician's star power in order to shift games. But sometimes it's about an artist pushing themselves by experimenting with a new medium. And there are points of convergence between the two art forms. There's a long history of music being used for protest and to provoke um, thought about things that are going on in the world today. Do you think um, that the video games have the power to do that as well? 100 million percent. That I feel like any, any, any platform in whatever way, shape or form, like whatever mediums we use as creatives and, or, uh, and artists, is, it's a platform for for, yeah, to speak out against injustice, for it to be, like, pillars of truth and whatnot. And especially with, like, video games, like, even down to the reach of video games is astronomical. Yeah, 100%, I think, is, especially the times we're in, anything can be a platform to speak out, yeah. Away from games and away from your music career, um, the, your bursaries to universities, yeah, uh, to Cambridge, is, yeah. is up and running. How important is it that you use your position um, to do the things that you are doing? I'm genuinely like so blessed. I feel like I've got so much um, platform and so much reach and I find it my duty and my responsibility to share what I have in whatever way possible. Like, so whether that's like scholarships, bursaries, uh, murky books, all, all of those things, like it's just like using your platform to just, to, to help where you can. I just feel like it's just a genuine like, duty and it's easy for me to do so. That's where I'm at, yeah.
with regard mm. to the foundation and bursaries and things of that nature. Do you think that that means that there's something, something wrong, that there's something that we need to think about things perhaps a little bit differently? These things are set up to address the uneven and the injustices in a lot of these areas of, of, of society. So yeah, that there's so many other, do you know what I mean, people of influence or artists or like public figures doing these things to try and just, do you know what I mean, uplift those who, who need it a bit more. From best-selling grime artist to Glastonbury headliner and now taking on the world of games, the South London star continues to shine. So I can I just want to burn.